Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I just wanted to do a quick video on sudden wealth syndrome and what that kind of means and where I think we're headed. So sudden wealth syndrome oftentimes takes place uh, in people's lives who uh, win the lottery or um, have a huge windfall at the casino or something to that effect, even to the uh, effect of having a large inheritance uh, left to them. It's basically somebody who isn't accustomed to a substantial amount of money who then quickly comes into that amount of money and oftentimes it has a negative effect on that person's life uh, in the form of stress, in the form of uh, security, in the form of you know stupidity a lot of times. People get a large sum of money and they just think that, well, I can buy this, 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 and this, you know, a house, a car, and three girlfriends worth of, you know, stuff, outfits, and all that kind of thing. And that's not necessarily uh, healthy or positive or will end well for you or for the other people involved. A lot of times it'll weigh heavy on families. So what we need to be focused on is where EOS is going. If you're invested into EOS, you know, it's still sub five dollars, if you can believe it, watching this video. And what we could see very, very quickly, like within the span of the next one to two years, is EOS being three and four digits. So if you, you know, put if you were to buy a thousand EOS for say 3500 right now and EOS were to run up to $1000 per coin you would have a million dollars that you spent 3500 for and i mean a lot of people have never seen that kind of money a lot of people have never dealt with that kind of money and all the things that come with having that kind of money so i think that people need to take into account you know their kind of their stack and their uh, their means and take uh, note now before we get to a place where you have so much money that you don't know how to handle it properly and you know you end up making some very avoidable decision that could cost you the ultimate price and it could even cost you your life and that's not what we want to see. We want to see um, this as an opportunity to parlay your hard work and stacking up in these times into something fantastic, into basically what you've been dreaming of, you know, since you started investing. What, the things that you want to achieve. Do you want to start traveling the world? Do you want to, you know, start a a business? Do you want to? anything that you've been thinking of doing you know this is the time to start planning for achieving that so when it shows up you're not caught with like a deer in the headlights with a ton of money and no plan and I think that people who do take this advice and start to plan for what they see coming in the future will be much more uh, better positioned and much more uh, grateful when it shows up that they had uh, achieved what they had envisioned versus all of a sudden coming into a extreme amount of money and blowing it all very quickly or you know the wrong people letting the wrong people into your life and causing you great stress and potentially even costing you your life if you're that reckless with that amount of money. So I think that's a, something people should take into account and uh, really uh, think about. All right, Stoffel Baker out.